So hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, I wanted to do this video uh, right after the uh, Canon uh, video, but I was caught up with uh, a bit of work, a, sh a few shoots here and there. I uh, only managed to pull this, uh, pull this up right now. So in the Canon event, I was shooting with uh, R5, R7 and R10. I was trying all these three cameras where they actually have the capability of shooting in uh, C-Log. Then only when I came home, and when I tried to load the files into the computer, this is what happened. So right now I am here in my um, DaVinci Resolve, where I've already prepared the, uh, the files here. So in this folder, I have all the files uh, from imported from the, uh, the cameras. And here, you see all these nine files lined up here. It appears as waveform only. When in actual fact, they are, they are actually, um, they are actually the uh, Canon C Log three files. And how videos should appear on a video video editing software is like this. This was shot with uh, I think R five uh, with normal MP four format. However, I was shocked, really, really shocked to see all the footages that I got from the event appearing like this. So I panicked and uh, I tried to look around the internet uh, to see how I can solve the problem. Uh, well, what I was guessing was it was probably the, uh, the what do you call that, the uh, codec problem. Um, maybe shoot in a different format. I'm really guessing that it is because I shot in uh, H, what do you call that, um, H265 format or decoding, encoding. I'm not too familiar with the uh, video, video terms, but um, that's my best guess. So I looked around the internet, there wasn't a lot of uh, a solution out there, but I managed to find one uh, but I forgot what link it was, I'm so sorry, but whoever posted that uh, tip helped me a lot. They managed to uh, find a software that can help me to, uh, to convert yeah, all this footage uh, from H.265.5 to uh, 264. And that actually solved the problem. Here's how you do it, okay? Okay, so this is this is shutter encoder, which I have already had got it running, and uh, I think this I find this software very very useful, especially when you have a, a codec problem that that I'm having right now. So uh, what you can do is you fire up, get the uh, the software this software running shutter encoder. I'll I'll give I'll put the uh, link download this software down in the description below. So once you've got this running, what you do first uh, is go to browse and choose your file. Here I have uh, nine files that I shot that I've shot in uh, C log 3 and I'll just pick any one of these put here. Alright and then uh, next come to the this part you choose the function so in this case I want to convert from H265 to H264 so that I choose then you see the bit rate adjustment on the right it shows up on the right and we I'll leave scale as is I don't touch that what I want to do instead is to uh, to come to the bit rate, the video bit rate. Okay. So what I have here is um, the folder for this. Uh, this is the file that I chose to convert, and you can go to right click and then go to properties, and you go to the details, and you can see the uh, the data rate or bit rate shown here in the details 
window over here. So what you can do is to match it, right? What you have here is uh, 300,000, 380,000. So you just follow, copy, 318724 kilobyte per second. Then you leave audio as is because it's pretty much uh, pretty close. Then it's estimated to have to generate uh, power size generated would be estimated at 545, which is actually very close to what we have. Right? Have 570 over here, and then this is estimated to have that. That's pretty much it. And all you need to do is to start the function. Just click the button here. And there you go. So what you need to do now is just to wait. So one thing about uh, C log 3, uh, log files is that uh, it shoots a very desaturated, a very flat image profile so that you can uh, do a lot more post-processing uh, in your video editing software like uh, DaVG Resolve or Premiere Pro later on in the post. Um, given the fact that I have older generation camera, I have not got chance to shoot in uh, log format. So I was, when I was at the uh, Canon event, I thought why not uh, just to pick out a few files and bring it home just to try until uh, the day that I I own one new camera myself, then maybe I should decide whether I want to use it or not. But generally for my line of work, I'm not a professional video uh, videographer. Um, so I don't see myself uh, using that a lot. Set the output file to be in the same folder as my original file. The destination is the same as the source. So once the process is complete, you pop up that folder. There you go, you have it here. Now I'm trying to import the, the file that I converted just now. And this is the folder, um, Canon C Log 3 on my desktop. So this is the file that was originally uh, shot in, in the camera. And this is the file that I've converted Right, so I open. Now, you can see that it shows a video thumbnail. And when you drag it to the timeline, there you have it. The file is restored. Right, you have the image, uh, you have the video, you have the audio, and it is in a flat profile. So from here on, you can do whatever you like with the uh, C-Log file. You can grade it, you can uh, color it, you can do whatever that you're supposed to do with the log files. And that's a very, very, very quick tip from me. I hope this would help uh, you as much as it did when I needed help on to search on the internet. So if you like what I have shared today, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Um, please hit like and share and, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you and bye bye. My name is Alan by the way from Kuching and Sarawak. So the cameras the so the cameras were from the event and I cannot uh, access the cameras anymore and I couldn't check what setting it was when I was shooting those uh, C-Log 3 4 videos. Um, so it is what it is. Um, I can't pinpoint for sure that it is shot in uh, 265 codec or not.